On today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles Infinite Crisis Harley Quinn. A rather interesting take on the Harley Quinn character. This comes to us from the folks over at DC Collectibles, and Spot picked this up from the guys over at uh, Man of Action Figures, one of the eBay sellers that Spot picks a lot, a lot of his pieces up from. Uh, I ended up going there because I couldn't find this one in local retail stores. Nowhere. Uh, big fan of Harley Quinn too, so as soon as I knew that she was going to be released, definitely want to add her to my collection. She comes with what looks to be a pair of glasses. She comes with a similar weapon to something that we would have seen from Nerf and a stuffed bear uh, mallet. That's going to be interesting to get that out of packaging. Uh, speaking really of packaging too, it's a good size packaging. It's not small. It's uh, one of the bigger uh, pack packaging I've seen from DC Collectibles. On the side of the package, a little interesting picture of Harley Quinn there. Uh, you know, interestingly enough, this packaging, the side here, this artwork looks a lot like Arlene Sorkin, who does the voice of Harley Quinn in the Batman animated series. On the back, Pajama Party Harley Quinn sculpted by Jack Matthews. The other two, well, I should say the other figure of the two figures, the other figure is Atomic Green Lantern. Wasn't super crazy to pick him up, but uh, the Harley Quinn interested me enough to I wanted to get, grab her for sure. For more product info, you can head over to dccomics.com. Your comic shop locator service is at www.comicsshoplocator.com. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the DC Collectibles Infinite Crisis Harley Quinn. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. This really fun take on Harley Quinn comes with several different accessories. Uh, the smallest accessories, and I would say the accessories you'd be more careful about, is she comes with a pair of glasses. There is a bit of plastic that they put behind the glasses, so uh, putting those on Harley Quinn, I would say, uh, yeah, be careful. They're just going to be really fine, fragile pieces. Moving that to the side, you also get yourself a... Again, it looks like a Nerf gun. It looks like uh, one of the, the Dart Nerf guns. Um, I like the coloring. It's different. It's not just all red because, like, the majority of the figure and her stand are all red. So it's nice that they broke this up with a little bit of a yellow accessory for a change. Some ye uh, yellow there, a little bit of orange, some nice blue there on the barrel. A nice piece. And then finally, the largest piece, and I also might add the heaviest piece, there's a good bit of weight to this, is, I assume, a makeshift mallet. And what she's done is she's taken her bedpost, one, one of the bedposts, and has rammed it through the, the stuffed bear here to make a makeshift mallet. Uh, it looks really neat, but it's heavy. I'm surprised how heavy this is. Like, this bear is all one solid piece of plastic. I do like how the stuffing is ripped out on the one side, the point of entry to the bear, and the point of exit on the other side where you've got the stuffing all hanging out. The stitch work also really impresses me too. Uh, as opposed to it just being a straight red piece, a little bit of duct tape there it looks like as well that's been taped to the, the bedpost. But it, all the little stitch work that they've done in black lining has, uh, has really brought all the details out. Uh, this is an exceptional piece. Really, really happy with this. Putting that to the side, and yes, it is, it is heavy. You also get, finally, a display stand. And the display stand, I would say, is the most disappointing. It There's just really nothing to it. It's just a clear, translucent... Yeah, there's details on there and, and everything, but... Eh, I'm not, I'm not crazy on the details. I would prefer... Eh, I don't know if they... I would have preferred if they had done something like a, a bedroom floor. You know, like a floor board kind of uh, base or something like that, instead of this translucent plastic. That is really the only gripe I could make about the piece. It also seems, too, that you can take any one of the bedpost, uh, well, you can take the one bedpost piece 
and you can put it into the stand uh, not to permanently affix it I don't think you can actually permanently affix it no it's it just stays in there but it allows for a point of where you can have the the bear standing and you know Harley Quinn can hold it it kind of can help prop the bear up so you get that it comes with two peg holes and on the undersides of her feet she has two uh, two pegs two peg holes on the undersides of her feet so you can just have her standing on the display stand and you can have the bear mallet you know in front of her all right so let's have a look at harlequin she again there's a lot to look at on her she's a fun piece um, i have collected a lot of harlequins and uh, some I really like, some I really don't like. Uh, DC Collectibles, because they are covering so many Harlequins from different stories and different interpretations of Harlequin, we get so many different looks to Harley. And again, like some of them, there's a lot of them I don't care for. This Harley, while she's not really, oh, there she is. Uh, while she really doesn't have a lot of Harley-esque look to her, she looks a little more like Harley than some of the the bustier topped uh, Harleys, the, the the garter belt Harleys that we've seen before. Uh, she looks more classic almost in by wearing the onesie pajamas here. The onesie have the Harlequin uh, diamonds all over her body, the black and the white, so it all comes together like as if she was wearing her original outfit. She's also got herself a folded down hoodie top, uh, well hoodie uh, hood here and it has some bunny ears to it. I don't know why, but it also kind of looks like the boy from Christmas Story when he comes downstairs and he's got the, you know, the, the bunny outfit. Um, but she does have a little trap door on the back and it's got some Batman undies going on there as well. Uh, this piece is just sculpted. You can't, you can't remove it or anything like that. But uh, uh, certainly a really nice touch. As for her face, let's bring the camera up here. As for her face, the face isn't bad. It actually looks better on camera, surprisingly enough, than it does in person. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the the teeth that's not working for me. Something doesn't work for me on the face. The face as a whole is good, but something about it is is not. I'm not crazy about. I love the hair. I love the sculpt in the hair and how the ends are dyed that pink color. That's a nice touch. But I think from a display perspective, I probably will likely display Harley Quinn with the glasses. And for that, let's put those glasses on her like so. There we go. It's definitely a nicer touch, if you ask me, to put her with the glasses. It gives her that really neat kind of nerdy, you know, uh, look. I, I, I shouldn't say nerdy look. Um, you can also have the, the glasses further down too, but I probably will just have the glasses completely up. But I, I really like that. I really like that design. Spot does not also imply that just because you wear glasses, you're nerdy. I just, I love that her glasses are large, which kind of gives her that that kind of uh, geeky kind of look. I like that. I also like the tassels in the front here too, which are fragile. So be careful with these. You don't want to break these guys off. But it's a really nice piece. The coloring is very vibrant. The choice of red that they also used very vibrant on the piece. For her articulation, she doesn't have a lot. Uh, most, the majority of her body is actually just a staction. It's just one sculpted piece. However, her head does move on a ball joint, which is a nice touch. Still moves quite easily, despite the fact that her hair is as large as, as it is. Shoulders on a pin and hinge socket, so they rotate forward, back, out. Uh, she also does have a bend at the elbow, which is easier. This one arm, for some reason, is really stiff for me. Uh, but the arm does move out and rotates. She does also have a swivel in the, in the wrist. No uh, articulation pretty much from here down. And then she has a swivel in the little bunny uh, bunny feet. Interesting thing to note is that the bunny feet also have smiles on them. I like that. That's a nice touch. What we can do, let's get her affixed to her display stand. Peg the first foot in there. Peg the second foot in there. And let's get her displayed. Um, I guess really the other thing that kind of I'm not crazy about is the way that she kind of leans forward. She has like a permanent like lunging forward. It's really due to this one foot being bent, but she leans forward. Uh, but you can take the hand. We just put the mallet in there. And I don't know if there's, there's probably not an easier way to display her. 
but you can get the mallet handle into her hand like so. Just like that. And uh, the end result is really fun. It's a fun piece. I might even put the gun into her other hand, but uh, she, she shows well. And that's one thing that I have to tip my hat off to uh, DC Collectibles. They're consistently churning out pieces, smaller six inch version art pieces. I mean, this is something that shows really well on a shelf. Um, you may not necessarily walk by and say, hey, is that Harley Quinn? Because the look is very distinctly different than the other Harleys that we've seen in the past. But there's no denying it that she is a fun looking piece. Harley Quinn here, I am going to give her, I'm going to give Harley Quinn here an 8.5. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles Harley Quinn. What was it? Pajama Party Harley Quinn? Slumber Party Harley Quinn? It doesn't matter. She's still a really fun piece. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots on your way. Certainly, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.